Um, <clears throat> did you see the video on YouTube where um, Dexter Isaac was being interviewed and he had mentioned how um, Tut and Stretch were, you know, Tut obviously was one of the robbers, but how Stretch was in on the quad shooting thing and was giving them a play-by-play -play as to where they were, how long it would take them to get to the studio and when they would arrive and all that. I didn't see that interview actually, but I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all that should not sure, not sure. Must be talking about me up there in that pen. Uh, but uh, Tupac Phil Stretch set him up. Y'all the ones that want to believe Reggie. <laughs> I, I be giving y'all too much game, too much inside. That's why niggas don't like me no more. They used to like me and used to could stomach this ex-cop or whatever. <laughs> but I've been telling y'all what happened to Big Stretch. Y'all don't want to believe it was a drug deal that went bad and all of that. Okay, okay. I tell y'all what I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Tupac felt that way. Tupac felt that Stretch. Everybody want to try to rewrite it and want to be cool. I guess we could stretch brother out there and they cool with it and all of that. I don't know. I don't know. None of those niggas don't care about too many New York niggas. I tell y'all that all the time. But, tell y'all this. Pac felt that Stretch set him up. So all these people just coming out. I think somebody from prison came out recently and said Stretch was the one doing it. I, is there some interview there? Where I didn't fell off my seat like, damn, yeah, niggas been hearing this and everybody be telling me like, Reggie, you full of shit, you don't know what you're talking about? And people coming out, as I always tell y'all, everything that Reggie say eventually comes to the head, right? Uh, and there's some interview out there, John, where some dude from jail admitted that that stretch was in on it, giving them play by play. That's literally what the question was. Oh, well, I thought you said the other dude, the Dexter dude. Yeah, that's the guy. Who oh, did. okay, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that was the dude that Art was currently interviewing. <laughs> that crazy shirt here, motherfucker, that's over there. Yeah, I just know that. I'm like, that's Samuels, huh? That's something else. Okay. That nigga's a big old shirt here. But uh, uh, the guy that got beat up by Kane in Minnesota Society. I thought that's who he was talking about that did it. Okay, yeah, well, I did hear a piece of that interview, John. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I've been telling y'all that my opinion on that, <laughs> what I, I would bet a little more, uh, and that, that, that would happen, and that stretch was involved in that. So yeah, hopefully I'll hear that interview, John, be able to play that pieces where the gentleman said that, and I'll listen to Park lyrics in this song. Then he did say, I guess your new feelings, why don't you, Shot or did or something like that. Was that him or was that somebody else? I don't know. But anyway, um, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Touchy situation, so I don't like talking about it too much. As y'all see, I'm stuttering and messing up, messing it up, but I've been telling y'all <laughs> that that's what Pac felt. So I guess Pac had heard those rumors as well. On the anniversary of the date that it happened. Yeah, I like coincidence, huh? I don't believe in coincidence. Shit happens for a reason. One year to the date that it happened, the man got killed. That's calculated, not a coincidence.